Time for another review for you. It's gonna start with the smash and the bat. Gotta tell you the articulation for Abomination of the Skulk on the Hulk. Rants and spasms aren't part of the plan, but if the figure sucks, get ready for a explosive review, y'all. Now let's start with the base or the face. Collecting is part of the game, but the reviews are a job, so let's kick it back with a man explosion and watch another review. What's up, YouTube? It's Explosion35 here with another video for you guys, and today we'll be having a look at... Well, I guess you guys could tell it's uh the it's the uh, reviews of soups uh thing going on up until the Man of Steel comes out. So I'll be taking a look at a lot of Superman figures lately. But um, so the first figure we'll be taking a look at is of course the Man of Steel Superman. This is kind of like a dollar st dollar store version. Um, I got this for five bucks, but it's still DC and Mattel. Um, you can see a nice picture of Henry Henry Cavill. I guess it's Cavill, and a lot of people are complaining because they say Cavill. It's Cavill. That's what I hear. I'm not too sure. It's Cavill, Cavill, Cavill. I don't know what the fuck you want people to say. You guys see the figure right there? Let's see. All right. It's got Superman down the bottom. Five bucks. Drawn to the back. Superman packaging. Just plain. Mattel. Superman symbol. So, uh, DC Comics. Uh, so, uh, we'll uh, get this guy out of packaging and see what he looks like. Stay tuned. Ooh. Alright guys, so now we got the figure out of packaging, and let's take a look at him. Um, why don't we start with uh, the head? I mean, right off the bat, there's problems with the figure, and there's stuff I don't like, but it's for five bucks. I mean, how are you going to complain too much? Um, but let's take a look at the head. You can somewhat make out Henry uh, Cavill, Cavill, whatever the heck you guys say. I'll just say Henry. There we go. Henry! What's up, Hank? So, I mean, you could, I don't know, partially make it out. He's got his hair. I mean, it just looks like Superman. I mean, except for the, you know, the little flip thingy, swip, swirl thing in his hair. Uh, sculpting, you could see. Every little sculpt line. You guys can hear that. It's got, even got sculpting down the back. I mean, no, nothing has been painted. This is just a solid blue, then red boots. Um, you know, no undies for this one. Which um is okay if there's anything I could have liked. There's some red going on right here. You know, just a little bit, like maybe two red lines, and then like a stripe down here. Give it something. Um, uh, one thing that I have a gripe about is that the neck piece is not painted flesh tone like it should be to save money, I guess. So I might just um, paint that out myself. Um, and then he's got his cape, which is nice. Um, just a little like plastic. It's not really that cool. I would have liked it cloth, but eh, whatever. Does the job. Um, I wish uh, about the new suit that they still had the S on the back. Um, even if the S was black, like the new 52, I, that would have been cool. I mean, that's something I really do miss. Um, but, I mean, this S on the front is very... Oof, that, that's a good S. I like, love the fatness in the middle. Definitely a cool suit. I mean, you know, it's not original, but it's definitely cool. Definitely cool with all the sculpt work. Definitely cool. Um, if we want to go into articulation for you guys... He's got his head rotation. He's got arms that go up. They can do 360s. Like so. Bend at the elbow. And legs go forward. Uh, not really articulated too much, but... Uh, whatever. You know you're picking this figure up. Okay, if you're going to pick this figure up and complain about the articulation, well then that's just your fault. Because you pick this figure up, you're going to know what you're getting. Don't pick something up you don't like just to complain. I mean... What, I mean, what's the point of that? I mean, that's just dumb. And I also want to say that the, uh, blue is a lot lighter. I mean, I mean, it's not that much lighter, it's that color. Um, stand him up, he has a hard time standing because his butt is really big. I believe this is like the same body mold as the, uh, rip apart motorcycle. Um, but just regular. Alright, so he's kind of just standing at a tilt. Let's compare him to another three and three quarter inch. 
extra figure here we got Green Lantern. I still need to get the three and three quarter inch uh, Batman, but um, whatever, that can wait. So yeah, he fits in well with three and three quarter inch figures. Um, definitely a change from this figure is that there's elbow articulation instead of a waist, and I definitely prefer elbow articulation than waist. Um, this figure, I don't know what kind of poses you can get out of them. If you can get anything, then just do it. But I mean, I guess you know, simple poses like this. I mean, the head can kind of move. Uh, can't really get a flight pose out of them. Maybe something like this, like dun. Uh, but, I mean, uh, it's cool for Man of Steel to be coming out soon. It's a cool figure to have. I don't know, what do you guys think about Man of Steel? Let me know down, down in the comments below. I think it's going to be really awesome. And, uh, subscribe. Are you a part of the figure collecting community on Facebook? Well, you should be translating into the FCC. You guys should go there and be a part of the f Facebook fan page. It's really awesome. You go there for trades, questions, uh, figure poses, and more. Whatever you want is on the FCC. Check it out.